This is the area chart showing the area I'm in today in the black box traveling up the north arm. The nautical chart here shows the track from Devil's Mountain up to Whitefish Bay in the north arm. A little bit longer leg today, 9.6 nautical miles. Took me about three hours and 3.2 knots was the average speed. Jeff's map shows a little more detail of the area. Uh, the unusable site that I tried to go to in the uh, left upper center there and uh, had to backtrack and ended up at the site down at the bottom. Okay, we'll walk outside and I'll show you the site here that I'm at at Whitefish Bay on, in the North Arm. But I pulled the gangplank, so I'll have to shut you off and put the gangplank down. Okay, I'm back with you. Been kind of windy and rain off and on. Now the sun is out. And uh, so I pulled the plank because I didn't want it to fall in the, and not be able to retrieve it. Main thing I was going to show you here is the tie up arrangements that I have, which are not typical. Usually you find yourself tied to trees. But as you can see, I'm tied to two rocks on my starboard side. Because there were no trees that I can reach with the lines, so lines aren't long enough. And uh, the wind is not the direction it was supposed to be. You can see right there, the stern of the boat is a little bit north northwest. The wind is pretty much northwest. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be southwest. So so much for the forecast. You know, sometimes they just don't make any sense. Anyway, then over on the other side, I am tied to a couple of small trees. This one here, and then the, the guy line is runs back over to that one. You know, fortunately even though the sights are not the best here. I've got a good wide angle. So in spite of this wind in opposite direction, it's supposed to be, not opposite, but 90 degrees off, it's still okay. So I've got good support. So we'll walk over here and check out the fireplace. The rock here is a little steep, so it's slippery, so you gotta be really careful, especially after a rain, uh, or you can fall on your butt. It's just too steep and still too wet. I wanted to come over and check the fireplace arrangement, which is a little weak. I see that there's a, a little wood left over. I've got some firewood on the boat, but everything's so wet that uh, I don't even dare to go down this. I can't really see the slope here, but this is really steep, maybe 30 degrees, and it's wet, so I don't dare walk down there. I'll slip on my butt for sure. And you can see the, you know, you can tell I'm quite a bit above the boat just the angles here of what you're looking at for the lines. The bow line there on the starboard is a little bit broad. You know, I don't like that kind of an angle. It should be more forward, but as you can see, there's nothing to tie to. It's got a weird, kind of a weird site for tie-ups. And I did go over to site right there, kind of on that, uh, you can see it. Kind of a rock face over there and uh, that's that was probably doable but I was figuring the southwest wind so I didn't really want to be exposed to that and that's a little more exposed to the southwest well I come came over here and now I'm exposed to the northwest wind so uh, you know sometimes it doesn't work the way you think it's going to work 
but like I say I've got a good broad angle on both guys so I'm good and uh, I'm gonna walk carefully <laughs> back to the boat so I don't slip and fall this is kind of a little peninsula here so you can kind of see what I'm you know, right there is the uh, looking southeast and I just noticed there's a trail right there. Sometimes I have a head on some of these campgrounds but this campground I wouldn't I don't know I don't think it would get used that much so I'm not sure what the trail is about. But we'll go back here. I don't want to go too far because it's wet. I don't want to get all soaked up. The trail goes on, so I'll maybe check that out tomorrow. <laughs> 